welcome! To another episode of the Rick Castellano Show. Tonight's episode's called Occupied by Fruit Pies. Excuse me a second. Let me look important. A little article, present day, Rochester Democrat and Chronicle. Mayor welcomes those attacking our foundation. Written by Shelley Alfieri Webster. Um, let's get to the story. We can all understand why Mayor Richards decided to let the people occupying Washington Square Park camp there illegally. He certainly wants to bring all the positives of the many national Occupy Wall Street groups to Rochester. These include destroying property, disrupting business, urinating anywhere, but in toilets, riots, rape, and now murder. <laughs> Excuse me. But if you'd rather look at the lofty ideals these groups espouse, students whining about having to pay their loans and blaming banks for the school's high tuition. <laughs> Those who denounce and attack the police. Those who are working for the destruction of capitalism and demonizing those who are successful. Excuse me a second, I can't even hold on to it. Okay. Who are successful. Our country's foundation, many are activists paid to cause trouble by unions and other such groups. Yeah, let's go out of our way in Rochester and give these types of lawbreakers free reign. I'm sure the mayor would have allowed the Tea Party members to occupy downtown and break the law. <laughs> wait, but wait, they never broke the law, so it wouldn't have been necessary. Mayor Richards, you are a loser. I thought you were going to stand up to these people and kick them out. Instead, when's the date they got that? January 12th. Is that right, producer? Correct. Thank you. January 12th? Hey, Mr. Mayor, Oregon, kick them out. San Francisco, <laughs> the fruit by capital of the world, kick them out. New York City, your buddy Bloomberg and uh, uh, Dancing Matilda there, his sidekick, deputy mayor, his ex-guy, deputy governor from Rochester, is dancing with him. Who knows? Free food? Do anything you want. Break the law? <laughs> Costs millions and millions of dollars? It's vote for me in the next election. Well, anyways, Occupy Wall Street? Nothing but rapists, murderers, criminals, excuse me a second. I don't got these here for nothing. You think I want to be angry the whole episode? I'm still angry. <laughs> Great Granny's diet ginger ale. It tastes even better in champagne glasses. Or martini. Still not there. Getting there. All right. Let's get back to the occupiers. Last couple of days, murders been, been the crime of choice. Couple murders, rapes. That's why they're closing it down. We're, they're infested, they even found TB. Earlier today, TB was running rampant in these little uh, plastic huts or whatever, they urinate and <laughs> you have to go to the bathroom just grab a newspaper and go in a police car, they don't care. Listen. There's unions are trying to push for this. And let's get back to what I was going to say about unions. <laughs> NBA players, you're finding out about unions, huh? Let's see, what other business in the world where somebody wants to start up a business? Let's see. I got a hundred million dollars. I got a billion dollars. I want to buy a football team or a basketball team or whatever. What am I going to do? I know. I'll buy a team so I can make some profits. I can make, I can sell tickets and fund it and grab some of the best players. What will I do? Well, if I listen to unions, I give them 51%. Let's see, I own a team, and I'm going to give 51% of the stock to the basketball players. Who owns who? It's not working. What are the owners saying? They're saying, we're not going to stand for it no more. No more. We're losing money. Basketball, the, the business of basketball, to make money, these guys are losing money. And I don't like the NFL. They're losing money. So the owner says, enough's enough. Stop this highway robbery. You know what happened? Basketball, no, 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 we deserve, we deserve the 51%. <laughs> Look at guys are washing cars, working in shoe stores. Now they can't wait to get back. And what they do today? They said, we're going to fire the union. We don't need a union anymore. You know why? They want to play basketball. They want to get their hefty salaries, 
They want to do ads, they want to do TV commercials, and they want to live the high life, and they want to go broke and spend all their money buying cars, chasing broads at strip bars. Who knows what they want to do? But the union is just out for themselves. 51% that's highway robbery, and you're not getting it? Castellano's happy. <laughs> Look it, Castellano, basketball lately, the last few years, Castellano don't care about it. Why? Well, the players don't try like they used to. Now you can pay hefty salaries, and you can be mediocre. Not anymore. Owners, you're not making money, fight, fight for your money. Oh, oh Castellano, they're making a lot of Hey, they're the one putting the money for the team. Let Michael Jordan buy a team. Well, wait a minute, he did. And what is he? He's on the side. He's on the side of the owners. Now he's on the other side of now he's an owner. What does he do? He's on the side of the owners. He wanna make money too. Hey, I want some hefty salaries, you know why? Basketball is losing money. Let's get back to Occupy. Occupy. Excuse me a second, you might be in the way. Do I need these anymore? Nope. But I could use a little of this. Um, Mr. Producer, before you sip, uh, you're not drinking <laughs> Great Granny's Diet Ginger Ale, are you? No, it's called Wedge Sherry. All right, let's <laughs> cut the Tom Foley. Am I missing out on anything about these occupiers? Well, it's, it's a way, and listen to this. The Monroe County Jail is a block up the road, and they all know about it, so they walk right over and get in a tent. I mean, <laughs> so you mean they get out, they get their 15 bucks, yeah. they cash their check, and then they go out and say, hey, free eats, free, free drugs, tent. Free sex. These guys haven't had sex in a year or two, and here's a bunch of people willing to lay it out. <laughs> and because it's Occupy Fruit by Fruit Pies, yeah. we know there's plenty of action, the, the kind you're accustomed to in jail, right? Yeah. I knew it. I knew Mr. Producer would be good for some. I'm gonna drink a toast to you. <laughs> Granny's great granny's diet ginger ale. Anyway, um, there's plenty to talk about about this before we go to commercial break. But the last thing I'd like to say is uh folks, unlike the tea party, tea party, they pay for permits. They by the time the end of the day is done, they pack all their belongings bar up. And you know what? For the most part, when they leave, it looks better than when they, when they first got there. These hoodlums, these losers, these unwashed, smelly, um, vile, out of prison, Rikers Island, disease, stupid, idiotic, I don't know where they're getting their thoughts from. You know what? If there's a handful of anybody that's got any kind of ideas there, I don't see them. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> no NBA basketball? Castellano's delighted. Look, how the union's doing. Anyway, two up and comers, the Pelosi brothers. Watch for these guys in the future. First, Austin. Get a close up of this handsome lad. Austin Pelosi. Now, his younger brother, Blake, football player. This guy's an animal. Blake Pelosi. F folks, the Pelosi brothers. Austin and Blake, watch for them. Gates, Charlie athletes, <laughs> Castellano's alma mater. <laughs> Welcome back. Excuse me a second. <sighs> Wait a second. <laughs> Great grannies. <laughs> the high ginger ale. I don't want to waste the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, you look lonely over there. <laughs> what are you doing standing all there by yourself? The little guy. Too much ice. Scrumply, I'm just. If you think that's all Castellano had to say, Castellano's got to eat a little more. <laughs> I'm not leaving anybody out because I could talk about this. We could go on for five or six shows. But let's get to the heart of the matter. The usual suspects. Wait a second. <coughs> I wasn't stuck in a line or anything. Like I had to get out of the way. I need a little room here. All right. Usual suspects. What are you saying, Castellano? Well, Hollywood stars, they're behind us. Who me? Who? Susan Sarandon, Neil Young. Um, look like my little Michael Michael Moore, that fat, smelly, interloping pig. Last but not least, plenty more, but James Taylor. 
Can you believe I actually used to like this guy? Well, Mr. Taylor got a big hit. Fire and rain. I wish it fire and rain for 40 days and 40 nights on these insects. You think I care anything about these people? Now, you know what? I don't even want to talk about it anymore. We'll save it for another show. Let's get on to celebrity gossip. <laughs> One of your favorites and Castellano's favorite too. I get to pick on most of the people I don't like. And there's not many people from Hollywood I care about. Excuse me a second. I make room for this. Even the ice is good, Granny. All right. All right. First up, Justin Timberlake. Castellano, what could you say about Justin Timberlake? Well, let me think. I never really thought much about him, but a lot of people liked him, so, you know, take him or leave him. Mr. Timberlake went to Marine Corps. Oh, he took along a young lady, um, got famous from her YouTube invite to him. He decided to go. Is Castellano against that? I got nothing against it. I think that's great. Mr. Timberlake, up until now, A1. But on your Twitter today, today, you go out and say, <laughs> you, you loser. Uh, uh, I met a lot of heroes in my day. Uh, I met Michael Jackson and, uh, um, Michael Jordan. And, but I've never until today when I went to the ball with this young lady that I really ever see some true heroes. Well, that part's good. <laughs> Michael Jackson, you insect, you little queer. Michael Jackson, who in her right mind likes this guy? I despise him. Wait, wait. Castellano, you're getting ahead of yourself. Excuse me a second, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> I got plenty of time to tell my story. Okay, let's be fair. Mr. Jackson had some talent. Jackson 5, even Castellano listened to him. I don't know why. I like bubblegum rock in those days. But anyways, not bad. Innocent little boy, great. Good dancer. You know his voice was a little higher, but that's what made it good. Anyway, two or three accusations of child molestation. Molestation, am I slurring? <laughs> Great granny, what are you putting in that stuff? Anyways, um, people started wondering, why is this man inviting little boys to his ranch? Why is he building an amusement park at his house? Why is he having pajama sleepovers, wearing free pajamas with the little kids? And giving him stuff called Jesus juice and try to get him drunk to seduce him. Can't be. It's Michael Jackson. This is Michael Jackson. He's innocent. He loves little boys. Yeah, he does. Anyway, Latoya. Excuse me a second. I'm not saying this. This is all. I look it up on the internet. Castellano wants you to fact check them. Latoya and Jackson, that they all tried to shut up, trying to say she was a nut or something, said. It's not Michael's fault. My dad raped me and raped Michael when we were little repeatedly. He did it. Michael, please stop this horrendous activity and stop and get help. Okay, did you people forget? No, I didn't forget. Maybe you want to forget the icon, oh, bubblegum rock. Did you guys forget that everybody despised this loser? That nobody was going to his concerts. Nobody gave a crap about this queer. This kid has got to molest little boys and, oh, I care about all little boys. Yeah, he wants to see them in their feet pajamas and take their diapers off. You loser. Look it, you're dead. You shouldn't disrespect the dead, but you know what? The man that they say killed you was a black man. I'm not saying that he was right. I'm not sticking up for the doctor. I'm not gonna, you're not going to pull me into that because you know what? I think doctors over-medicate people way, way too much. But you know what? Michael Jackson is in the innocent party here because he shopped around for medicine and he begged. <laughs> Listen, you raped little boys. You gave over $40 million. Well, well, I'm going to prove these accusations 100%, 100%. No, 100%. You got a little whiny voice. 100% you're going to do it. You paid over $20 million twice 
to get out of it. Why? And then you're dancing on cop cars like your thing, and your, your brother Teal had an escape route for you because they were going to grab you from court if you were, good, you were guilty, and they were going to sneak you over to Saudi Arabia so you could bow to the king and hang around with your buddy Obama. Anyways, what happened? You died overdose whether it's by your doctor or by yourself who knows and i don't care because i personally think that right now you're getting the pitchfork because right now whether you believe in muhammad allah or wherever you was you change your one day here's your over witness the next day you got to louis fair kind of his boys are protecting you with the bow ties in the background who knows but all i know is you didn't ever like you know what Time for Castellano to tell the truth, because Castellano's politically correct. I'm going to tell you what you should know about Michael Jackson. He didn't want to be black. Castellano, that's, that's one of our heroes. He didn't want to be black. He tried to dye his face white. He dated only white girls. He only had, he had surrogate mothers that were white. He didn't want to be black. He married, uh... Priscilla, or uh, her daughter, what's her, what's her, what's her name there? Uh, Presley, um, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> We're stuck. Who cares? She was Elvis, Elvis Presley's daughter. She screwed up too. For money, she's already got a hundred million bucks from her dad's estate making money every year, and she married this loser because she wanted to live off his reputation because her dad was dead and she needed, she wanted to be in a limelight again. But anyway, he only, he wanted to be white. He married white girls and he acted white. He tried to dye his, tried to dye his skin. He he got his nose. He got so many operations on the thing was falling off. And I'm not making it up. He tried to he wear wigs to make his hair straight. He didn't want it. He didn't care about the black race. You know what? Castellano cares more about the black race than he does. You know what? I care about all people. But you know what? People stop defending this insect. You have all the evidence in front of you. So anyway, it's gone to modern times. Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie Presley, thank you, Mr. Producer, because I want to think. Excuse me a second. Let me get my train of thought back. Thank you. Thank you. Where am I going from this? Castellano, why are you picking on Michael Jackson? I'll tell you why. I took my young son to Blockbuster the other day, and Castellano goes for the new releases, because I've seen everything. Go to the new releases. Michael Jackson icon. Big, giant row all over the place like this guy's a hero. I had my young son to the right of me, store full of people. This isn't Castellano the actor, this is Castellano the citizen. Looked around the store, full, I didn't care. There's little kids around and I just said, I, what do we have this loser, this insect, this criminal, this picture up here, if anybody let their kids see this child molester in a movie, they're losers. So. I screamed to the top of my lungs, and they looked around, and there was little kids there. You know what? Castellano doesn't care anymore, because these are the little kids that get molested. They get molested because parents are afraid to tell them, because they think they're too young to know. Castellano thinks it's a time that he's got to open his mouth, because you know what? So if a little kid gets offended, it's better than having him getting raped by guys like this! So Michael Jackson, you are a loser. And I hope that pitchfork feels good on you. And I hope you got well lubed before your last dose of, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, who knows? Propanol, whatever it's called. I don't care because I never did it. Who knows what you do? But I know one thing. No more Jesus juice for you because believe me, you're at the other end of the spectrum. Next subject. Castellano. You made a big deal about Justin Bieber. Bieber? How is it, producer? Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't watch him, even though I, I talk good about him. Anyways, Justin Bieber. Accusations are out. Even though Castellano praised him, I'm not politically correct, and I'm not biased. If there's a story to tell, I tell it. Young girl came forward and said, he's the father of her kid. She was with him. Of course, right away, Mr. Bieber said, it's not true, he'll take a paternity test. So we'll see what happens. In the news, Castellano was then just going to pick the stories he wants to and praise the people he wants to. If he's guilty, he's going to get lambasted. If not, she's going to get lambasted. I'm going to be fair here. So we're up, we're up on that. You know where Castellano stands. I'm fair. Tim Carassian, give me the rose. Give me the rose. <laughs> <laughs> 
speaking of smells, let's talk about Kim Kardashian. That big ass of hers. That big. She's doing the bump with Michelle Obama. That thing's so big. And me, when he do the bump, it clears the room. Anyway, Kim Kardashian. Big multi-million dollar wedding. Last 70 days. Less. <laughs> what happened? Oh, a, a reality show. I am my dancer. Don't my dancer wear? No, I don't care. I don't care about you, and I don't care about your sisters. But, Miss Kardashian or Kardashian, you got a fake ass. Your uh, husband, put all the pictures on the internet. You know what? That's nothing to be proud of. Your ass was big before, and now it's real big. You know what? You might have a fake ass, but that smell isn't fake, because I guarantee there's mud. I guarantee those butt cheeks, they're Sturridger. That thing's so big. Listen. If you think it's good, go ahead. <laughs> Rub it against all the basketball players that are drinking shots or something at bars and all of a sudden they want to promise you everything. <laughs> they divorce you 70 days later. What do you care? You got all kinds of money. You're stupid. Kim Kardashian. Wait. <laughs> the black rose smells terrible, but I know her big butt smells a lot worse. So Kardashian, fake ass and all, Castellano despises you.